This is Living Hope by Phil Wickham, but it's a Crosspoint Church version. We are capo one in the key of A flat. My unaffected signal sounds like this. That's with a bit of compression, so I guess it's not totally unaffected there. Uh, we have two delay settings for this song. The first one is a dual delay at 70 beats per minute. It sounds like this. And that's an eighth into dotted eighth delay. And then we have a dotted eighth delay at 70 beats per minute. That sounds like this. And we're using the Bethel 2 reverb from the Strymon's Artist Series pack. And we are neck pick up until we get to the big bridge. Alright, let's take a look at the turn that happens after the first verse. Okay, so for that we're looking at rooting ourselves in this A flat major position. And we're kind of in this little safe place. Alright, so the notes we're playing on that. And we turn on the dual delay with that reverb and it sounds like this. Alrighty, and that takes us into verse 2. Let's take a listen to verse 2. So for verse 2, we're playing 6th intervals on the chords here. So we're looking at this A-flat position. We're going to play the 5th and the 3rd. We're just going to rock back and forth between the D and the B strings. Sounds like this. we we'll do this little pickup note. One more time. Back to this D flat. All right, one more time on that one. Alright, so on that thing on that part here, I'm in the demonstration I'm hitting both of the strings with equal intensity. When you play the part, you want to put more intensity on the B string and just kind of hint at the D string here. And I'll show you what I mean once we turn all the effects in. Uh, the other part of that would go like this. Alright, one more time, a little slower. So we have that little pickup from. Alright, here we go.
All right, what the effects? Now we're going to listen to like the true second half of that verse that starts on the cross has spoken. Let's take a listen. spoken we move up to a minor sixth position here all right here we go The second part of that should look pretty familiar. Let's go over that first part one more time. This next part is the King of Kings. Follow me his own lands on this. Then beautiful savior. Yours forever. Jesus Christ, my living hope. All right, all together with the effects. That takes us into the chorus that we're in on for guitar. Let's take a listen. So for this course, we're changing to our dotted eighth delay at 70 BPM. We're going to turn on a boost. I'm using the Walrus Audio Emissary. And then on the second chorus, we are going to turn on the Pog, which has a high emphasis on the high octave. So let's listen to the Pog really quick. All right. And the notes we're playing here, we're neck pick up again. Sounds like this.
Second part. Jesus Christ, my living hope. All right, all together slow, a little more fluid here. All right, with the dotted eighth delay and the Bethel two reverb and the emissary boost, here we go. Alrighty, so that takes us into the bridge uh, where we come in really big. Let's take a listen to that. Alright, so this part's got a lot happening with effects and things like that. We're going to turn the compression off. Uh, try to get rid of some of our noise here. Going to flick down to the bridge pickup. And we swell into an A flat, but in a G shape here. And then the part that happens directly after is just play this dyad, which is an A flat dyad. So same note on the high E, half step down on the B string. Once again. Dyad. Then it's. One more time on that little part there. All right, string that all together here. All right, now let's listen to the second half of that piece. So for here, we're adding the minor note, this F note here. So same A flat dyad with a minor note in there. Muting the D string, low E and high E. I have a whole video on muting technique that you can take a look at if you need some help with that. So you just kind of strike the guitar. Same two notes. 
Grab this with your ring finger, I suggest. All right, one more time. All right, let's string it again, one more time. Okay, let's string it all that together with the effects. You'll probably have to go back and, and watch the full speed portion a couple of times along with this portion to kind of string it together and have it make sense for you. It's tough to put uh, together the parts and, and understand them without seeing them in context at full speed. But uh, I think watching it again ought to help you. We're gonna use the JHS Super Bowl unaffected. Sounds like this. JHS Super Bowl. Let's stack that with the emissary. It gets really noisy. So it's a pretty huge sound, and then we're gonna put the pog on on top of that, uh, same settings as before. So uh, we're gonna put all the effects on and give this a whirl here, and swelling in with the flint. Here we go. All right, so again, lots happening there. Uh, there's a lot of room for error because you have all that wash going, so you just have to make sure you're very accurate on those notes. Do uh, a good job muting and you should be good to go. And the next piece of the song is the final chorus. So it goes into two choruses. The, the first of those is played, as you already know, simply with the, the bridge pickup instead, and then overdrive pedals and pog. Uh, the final chorus, however, adds in a little hammer-on piece. Let's take a listen to that. So it's a very easy adjustment to make on this. So typically we play But instead of that we're gonna play So just this hammer on piece which goes One more time All right, so I'm gonna turn everything on and play one of those big choruses through for you.
Alrighty, that's all the parts you need to know for Living Hope. Thanks so much for watching that lesson video. Hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. You can always find my email address on the website. Always happy to talk through this stuff with you and get you taken care of. If you're looking for a preset for this song, whether it's Kemper, Helix, or Strymon, there's a good chance I have one on the Guitar For His Glory web shop, which you can find here at the website. That's guitarforhisglory.com slash shop. If there's not one there, feel free to reach out to me, and I can probably whip one up for you. Thanks, guys.